Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about the angle sum of a triangle. Triangles, as you know, have three angles. All the angles add up to a special number. This number is 180 degrees. So all triangles, in all their shapes, in all their sizes, their three angles will always add up to 180 degrees. This is a very important rule you always need to remember. Whenever you think of triangles, always think that their angles will always add up to 180 degrees. Always memorize that. Looking at this triangle, we have angle A, we have angle B, and we have angle C. All three angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, equal 180 degrees. Remember that. 180 degrees. This is going to help us with the next few examples we're going to do to find missing angles in a triangle. Let's do that now. We said we can actually find a missing angle in a triangle using the rule that we just learnt, which is all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Here we have a triangle and we're asked to find the missing angle marked with an X. We can see that this angle is marked at 80 degrees and this angle is 52 degrees. We need to know and find the size of this angle here marked with an X. This is how we do it. X equals. What does X equal? It equals 180 degrees, which is the total, take away the 52 and take away the 80 degrees. 180 is that and that and that. All three angles add up to 180 degrees. That is the total. So 180, take away 52, take away 80 degrees, we're going to be left with this angle here. Let's do that and work out X x equals to 180 degrees, which is the total in a triangle, minus, what are we going to take away? The other two angles. The other two angles added together. 52 plus 80 52 degrees plus 80 degrees. We need to know now and work out x x degrees is 182, 180 minus 132, 52 plus 80, 132. Now we can work and find the missing angle x. x is 180 minus 132, x is going to be 48 degrees. Here we know angle with the 80, another angle with 52, this angle is missing. We know all of them add up to 180 degrees. 180 minus 80, 180 minus the 52, minus these two angles together. We're going to be left with what's remaining, which is this angle marked with an X. 180, take away the 52 and the 80, which make up 132. 180 take away 132, X is going to be 48 degrees. Now, we always have to write a reason. We have to justify our answer. Whenever we're finding missing angles, we have to give reasons. Here, we use the angle sum of triangle reason. How is that written? Like this. Angle sum of triangle. It's that simple. We work out x, we found x is 48. How did you get that? We use the angle sum of a triangle rule. So our reason, angle sum of triangle, we get our marks for finding x. We also get our marks for writing the reason. This is the way to find missing angles in a triangle 
using angle sum of a triangle. We'll do one more example. Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends.